Hey everyone's big dog. I'm in my warehouse today. Going through a lot of things that I've bought. So with Thursday night I went to an auction. On the way home from an auction, I got a, a picture from a buddy. He said, Are you interested in this? And uh, I'll get into that later, but that piece right there. And I said, Yeah, so he said he, he didn't really have a lot of room in his car, so I kind of met him where he was. He was doing a toy deal himself. And when I went in there, the guy offered me a lot of stuff too, so I bought some stuff. Now, a lot of stuff that I bought mainly are collectible things, and they'll be in my store. Uh, I got a couple of little odds and ends things, and then I got a pickup from a friend down here that I picked up at the auction. So let's kind of get into what I got. Some of the first things I got were these uh, die-cast cars, these dragsters from the Gator Nationals. So the 33rd, yeah, the 33rd annual Gator Nationals. Uh, so these are signed cars to have signatures on them. I really don't know who they are. I'd have to do a little bit of research to figure it out. But I got that dragster here. And then I got this one here. And they're still wrapped in their little papers or their bags, so I don't really want to pull them out. I don't think he's ever been out of here. But it's another one that is signed from the Gator Nationals. So I just got to figure out who they are and go from there. Uh, these sell really good in my store. I've had one or two in there before and I've sold them for like 50 bucks a piece. That's kind of cool. Here's an autograph car. It's a diecast car. It don't have any uh, graphics on it to tell me who it is or anything, but there's all kinds of names all over these cars. So this one here, one, two, three, four, five. And I can't see the back side of the car. So five autographs on this guy. So I just gotta look them up to see what they are. Just says autograph car, so I really don't know. And there's another one here too, another funny car, no graphics on it. Uh, it's got one, two, three signatures that I see, but I really don't know who they are. Also picked this up. Uh, this is the Cartoon Network car. Got Huckleberry Hound on it. A couple different ones on there. And it's still wrapped. Oh, you see Huckleberry Hound right there through the bag. Number nine. So, I usually don't buy NASCAR. But I like anything that has like a uh, cartoons on it or some kind of old TV show whether it be like small soldiers or anything like that so I collect those cars only because where I do the toy thing it relates so saying that here's a Jurassic Park 3 from the third movie funny car now this thing is cool and it is signed by Dale Wood or Del Wood the worst something I don't know I can't figure it out but uh these are really really cool now this hits both things hits a person that's in the drag racing also you know if you are a Jurassic Park collector you can hit it there which I do have someone in mind for this if they want it or not this is a Jason line summit uh, pro stock car signed by Jason himself so, it's kind of neat. That was in the box, too. So, I got a good deal on that stuff. Let's get into this real quick. These are movie cards and stickers and holograms from Jurassic Park. Uh, this is a complete set one. From, it doesn't say... One of four plus four of fours in here. This is set two, complete. And there's extra cards in here as well. So these are all Jurassic Park cards. So I gotta look them up. We sell these in the store pretty good as sets.
Just, I got a, I bought a box off the guy. He basically twisted my arm, made me buy it because it was a good price. But uh, this public truck was in there, and the box is a little on the crappy side. Uh, someone put a price on it for thirty dollars. Uh, probably put it in my store for like fifteen because the box is real crappy. But as far as the truck goes, the truck's in decent shape. So. Not too bad. Now this is a radio. It's a fire radio. It's a fire wagon actually. Uh, and I have one of these already. So this is another one. I mean it's got, I don't know if it works or not, but it does got a battery in it. So I could try it I guess. And this little international tractor. I've been buying tractors left and right. I got uh, two in boxes. I have another one out of a box, and now I got this one, so I got four. I think I have another two or three laying around in the warehouse. I just found when I moved things, but I don't know exactly where they're at. Now this here, Banks, Ertl Banks, in the box, I sell them for five bucks a piece. These guys are probably like three dollars a piece. Campbell's Pork and Beans. It's got the key hanging off to the side there. This one got the key. It's got the key in it down there. So, also in that box was this stuff, older, older fashion dolls kind of thing. It's uh, like a 70s Donald Duck, which have a big Mickey, almost the same size. Someone set them side by side in the store. Just old doll. Got 20 bucks on it, but I don't know. That's an ugly doll. And also in that box was uh, this Bullwinkle, which I have a little Rocky somewhere. I gotta find them so I can set them side by side. It's Elmer Fudd. Nice little pillow. Uh, very cool. It's a foghorn leghorn. Really good shape. New in package. Never taken out of this. These is uh, deer antler letters. The letter X. River's Edge products, I guess you can actually, if you guys are interested in this. Come on, damn it, focus. No. So uh, if you guys are interested in trying to get these letters, because they're deer letters, they make every letter, so it's kind of cool. Also have a uh, olive oil. She is missing a foot. So it's kind of cool. I got an LJN Hogan. It's not bad shape. We got a little wear on the knees. Hogan, what are you doing on your knees? Uh, but uh, I was thumbs a little eight on, but not too, too bad. Little Louisville Slugger, kind of cool. Got that piggy bank, porcelain piggy bank. And he threw this in as well. Leslie and Ron locked in uh, Parks and rec Recreation. So, yeah. So all that was a deal. Uh, another thing that I picked up there while I was there is this, the 32 Ford. Now what's neat about this, this is a 118th scale model, but whoever did it did a really good job on it. Now the window fixture and stuff goes back on there. I just didn't put on there. 
and the steering mechanism down here has to mount back up on the bracket down here the peg came out really good green paint everything's in good shape no cracks nothing like that so I saw this I know there's a price sell in my store with these especially if anybody has a 32 uh, but the motors done good show you around a little bit so it's kind of cool so that's so I got that I th thought that was neat now let's get into this real quick over here so this is originally why I got the phone call uh, you had this set the triple decker play set over three feet of sewer slam and fun smash them bash them and battle arena so i gotta look in there uh he said he went through it as far as all the real big stuff everything is in there 100 percent complete they might be missing one tiny little piece he said uh one of the little accessories but i have a lot of parts so and i might have the accessory because i have a lot of this newer stuff i actually have the the swat turtle van for this same series and We'll go from there. If this is complete, this is probably in the range of uh, about 150, 200 bucks. So I just got to do a little research and see exactly how complete I can make it. I just went off what they said. They said it could be complete. He knows all the big pieces are there, but I'm gonna be missing some very small, tiny things. So we'll have to check it out. Also, while I was at the auction, a buddy of mine bought lots of these boxes of Hot Wheels and I worked out where I got a set so let's get into these are called Flying Customs it's 85 Camaro it's a 66 Chevy Nova a purple it's one of my favorite Novas the 6667 one of my good friends had a 64 I love that car Oh, that was a 86 Monte Carlo, sorry. It's a 69 Shelby 500 convertible. 69 Chevy Chevelle 396. 65 Mustang convertible. It's the custom auto. And the 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. So that's going to do it. For this round of uh, pickups that I received from a buddy, he told me to come come to this guy's house, and I went, and this is what I wound up buying. So, uh, this is a big dog. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button. Till the next one. Big dog's out. Everybody be safe.